Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bighorn. The Bighorn is a solid hybrid legendary reward in Division 2. It is a mixture between an assault rifle and a scout rifle or let's say a regular rifle. If you scope in, you deal 450% damage, which is great. And the weapon also has the ability to swap or switch between full auto and semi-auto, which is one of the versatility options that comes with this weapon. You also get a stack of up to 100% bonus headshot damage if you continuously hit enemies in the head. Some people will tell you that this weapon is garbage, some will tell you that it is overpowered, some will tell you that it is incredible, and some will tell you that it needs some work. Now all these people are right in their own way, however when it comes to me particularly, I will tell you that this weapon is one of the best things to have in Division 2. It is not overpowered, it is not something that is going to kill every single thing in one shot. However, if you're looking for a weapon that helps you traverse through different levels of content regardless of what it is when Skyscraper comes out, this is going to be one of those weapons that I will recommend you try to get and have it in your back pocket just in case. The reason for this is because versatility. That versatility comes from duality of this weapon. You're able to go from close range combat to long range combat without having to worry about switching weapons. Swap speed is not going to be an issue for you. And one of the most important things about it is going to be the ammo economy. A lot of times when you're using auto rifles, especially in high level difficulty, you burn through that ammo really, really quickly. And with this weapon right here, you only have 30 ammo in the magazine, which if you compare it to other assault rifles, that is subpar, that is low. So you want to use this weapon as a rifle. And when you're looking at this with this versatility option, you have a rifle that has 30 bullets in the magazine. That is incredible. And it deals a lot of damage. So you can keep on piling on top of those enemies get those headshots, get a really good build, and you will just see how crazy and powerful this weapon is. In PvE, this weapon is incredible. It is quite phenomenal in solo and in groups. In PvP, on the other hand, it is quite situational. The reason for this is because when you're in PvP, the primary mode is not logical. And the reason for this is because you have a low magazine count compared to other auto rifles. Anybody using a regular auto rifle will have 50 and people using the Eagle Bear will have 60, which means if you're facing off against those people, by the time you have to reload, they will melt you. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.